Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining. Today I'm gonna to show you step-by-step step how to paint this Christmas scene. We're working on a 12 by 16 canvas primed with cobalt blue. I dried it off once I applied it. You can use any brush that you want to cover this canvas. And I'm gonna use a large filbert brush to begin. I'm gonna work on some cloud formations in the sky and just make a very, very light gray background first with a hint of turquoise. So I'm loading both sides of my brush, gray, white, and turquoise. And I'm gonna do a little line for the foreground. And then I'm gonna come up to the top and start pushing and creating little tops of clouds, just sort of scumbling my brush around, making them look a little bit uh, wispy and have some flow to them. And then I'm just going to pull and blend that out with a little bit of water on my brush, back and forth very softly with my brush. I'm going to do another layer now and just build this up to be a little bit brighter. So I'm going to get a bit more brave now and add more paint, push a little bit harder with my brush and create more round puffy clouds. And I like using the filbert brush because I'm able to get those sort of round circles and swirls if I want to kind of make the sky look a little bit whimsical. And, you know, I really love whimsical skies. I love um, just kind of exaggerating those clouds and all those uh, swirls and um, brush strokes. It's a lot of fun and it adds a lot of character to your, to your paintings, especially when you're working on a fantasy piece such as this. I'm taking a little bit more of my turquoise now with my white and I'm going to add some soft and subtle highlights. Now I'm taking a little round brush, and you can use any brush that you feel comfortable with. I'm just going to use a little bit of gray and white and begin the outline of my reindeer. And in this painting, I only added one leg, and after it was all done, I thought I could have added uh, another leg somewhere. Maybe the second leg, we can't see it, and it's kind of right next to the other one. It's up to you guys if you want to add another leg, or just kind of cut off that end of the reindeer. You can just start your um, reindeer right from the leg on the very end of the canvas, and that way you don't have to worry about it. But um, I'm just doing a very rough outline here, going up and then scooping down slightly. His leg, his one leg there is going to be a little bit wider at the top, and then it's going to gradually get skinnier, and then it's going to come out uh, down on the very bottom. I've also got some raw umber. You can use um, any brown that you want, and I'm going to be using a combination of raw umber with a little bit of black and white and gray for my shadows and my contrast.
So I'm going to paint his head a little bit darker to start and then I'm going to come in with my highlights after and subtle markings. I'm going to do a little scoop at the top to begin his antlers. And again I'm just taking my uh, raw umber or brown with a little bit of black. Okay, so after adding a few more layers of highlights, I'm just going to begin his antlers now with a sort of a line, a swirly line like this, keeping it really simple and basic. This is super easy and um, achievable for all levels of painting. If you're just beginning, you can definitely do this. I've got a little round brush. If you want, you can use a liner brush. Um, I like using this round brush because it's small enough that I can create little details, but it's thick enough that I can push and get um, the thickness that I want when his antlers get a little bit wider. Um, and if you just use the end of your brush, you can use it uh, very lightly and add little lines if you want and little dots. And I'm just going to use white for my highlights and then I'm going to add a little bit of brown and black for his, the markings, his markings on his antlers and the shadow of course.
Okay, so he's got sort of a, a wreath or a necklace or something around his neck that looks festive and Christmassy. Um, I just decided to add this around. I thought it looked uh, really cute and added some more character to this painting. So I took turquoise to begin with and I just dabbed, uh, leaving a few spaces in between and um, dad dabbed it kind of like randomly. And then I took some red and I added some red. Um, I'm using cadmium red. You can use any red that you want. Any red will look great in this painting. Um, I just really like a good cadmium red. It's nice and bright. Um, so then I alternated little dots of sap green. And so I incorporated a few different greens. So I've got my sap green and I've got that turquoise, which is really nice. You can even use a bright um, neon green if you have it or a bright, bright grass green. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of come in here and uh, redefine his his face and his head a little bit, narrowing it a little bit. See how I went back? I, I think it was a bit too wide. So I just went back with that cobalt blue and I cut in. And uh, so you can easily do this, guys, if you have a part of your painting where you don't you don't think it looks correct you can um, definitely go over it acrylic is very forgiving I'm gonna add a few more details around his eye so he's got black inside his eye and then um, around it you just kind of want to outline with a little bit of white Okay, so to create more of the long patch of fur and hair down here under his neck, I'm deciding to use my Wisp fan brush. This is a really cool brush and it makes the hair look real. I really like using this for animals and I also use it for palm trees too. But in this case, I'm using it for the reindeer's fur and I'm just taking a little bit of my white, a little bit of water on my brush and just pulling and flicking and then I'm kind of just tapping and dabbing and pulling around in all different directions to create more of a patchy fur effect and texture on his body. Now, after doing that with white, I'm going to pick up a little bit of my brown and add some more shadow and some more color on his fur. So back to my little round brush, I'm going to take a bit of turquoise and white, a little bit of water, and just pull a line underneath his uh, paw at the, at the bottom or his hoof just to create some light down here at the base. I'm going to go back to adding some more details, just redefining everything. And I'll do this for a little bit and then we'll begin painting our little girl. All right, so we're ready to start painting our girl and I'm gonna use cadmium red with my round brush and just do a very simple outline for a little dress that she's wearing. It's gonna kind of be the shape of a bell and it's gonna come out a little bit 
wobbly and wavy down at the bottom so it kind of looks like maybe her dress is pleated or she's got some ruffles there and then I'll come up and do her arms and her hands of course she's got this hand out here with a mitten on and she's going to be holding a glowing star or an orb offering that to this reindeer and then I'll just paint it inside paint it all red I'm going to come in with some white now and just start dabbing on just going to trim all the edges, her cuffs, the bottom of the dress. I'll do the same at the top here and for her hat as well. Now I want to add um, some turquoise and black to her mittens and for some shadows. Again we're just doing this very very impressionistic style loose painting Now without adding too much detail, we're not really going to see all the features on her face. I'm just going to make a skin color by taking a little bit of my brown, red, and white and just do a little blobby circle there for her face. All we need is just an indication that there's um, a face there. We don't need all those details. And then we'll concentrate on her hat that's going to be really, really big. So it's going to come up kind of like a kind of like a rounded triangle and then um, the top of it's going to just fold over and get skinnier and then we're going to do a little white blob on the end of it and we'll add little white blobs to trim the top of her hat as well. Now I've got my neon red. This is a really really bright red that just pops out. I love it. It just adds so much extra to my paintings. So I'm going to go over very loosely and lightly not pushing too hard for some nice highlights. And I'm going to take some white paint with a clean brush now and create a little ball in her hand. I'm going to add some more highlights now to her face and some shadows. I'm going to create some hair coming down the side as well as some um, little uh, strings coming down from her hat. And then washing my brush off after I'm going to take a little bit more of my turquoise and white and add some more highlights and slopes down here on the snow. After adding a few more little dabs on her face for shadows, I'm taking some black and I'm going to uh, create the indication that there's some feet or boots down here on the bottom. Um, then I'm going to soften that and make them a little bit more indistinct. Let it look like her, her feet are kind of set in the snow and I'll create a highlight and more of a snow bank or hill kind of like on the other side of her boots. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit of turquoise and just add that to her mittens for a nice accent color. And 
I'll go over her hat and add more white. Same with a reindeer, just re-highlighting another coat. This really will give that 3D look to your paintings. It's all about creating those layers one at a time. And after adding a nice little dry brush effect down on the snow in the foreground for some more uh, light, I'm going to come in and highlight her face a little bit more with that um, red, brown, and white that I made for skin color. And then do another little bit of shadow underneath. And for my shadow color, I'm just using my brown and a little bit of that red. I'm not done with her face yet. I'm going to go back to that after. I just want to let the paint sit for a little bit. I'm going to add some highlights to her mitten and taking a bit of white with my turquoise is all I did there for those highlights. I'm going to start creating some hair. So I'm just going to pull and make it look sort of kind of twisted and have some flow and movement to it. So it's going to come on the side of either side of her face. And I kind of want it to look like it's sort of blowing. So I want it to kind of flick out down at the bottom. And I'm just using white with a little bit of brown to tint it. And I'm going to add some more shape and highlights to my dress using that bright red. I'm going to take watered down white on my brush after I finish up with her face here and I'm going to just do a soft glowing haze around the ball in her hand. Do this really lightly. I want it to look see-through. And I'm just using a cat's tongue brush right now but you can use any brush that you want. I'm adding more red and bringing her hat down a little bit lower. I just thought there ended up being too much white and I think having the hat come down lower and there being more red will be a nice balance and add some more character. I'm just going to add a little string coming down. I'm going to take some luminous yellow or just light orange. You can use yellow, orange, mix it with a bit of white and I'm going to add some warmth to this glowing ball that she's holding. I'm going to add a light little haze, glowing haze around it. So just water down um, paint, kind of dry and scumble it off down below on the snow as well. So it looks like the light is just reflecting down there. And I'm going to add a bunch of stars. So I'll be using a few different brushes. I'll use a liner brush, my finger at times, a round brush, and just create a whole bunch of stars that are kind of floating off up into the sky and off towards the left side of the, t the canvas at the top.
So the next step I'm going to be doing is adding some snow to the whole painting and for that I'm going to just take an old toothbrush. You guys have seen me doing this lots. It's such a great technique. It's so easy. Just an old toothbrush. Get it wet, really, really wet. Scumble it around in my titanium white and then I'm going to turn it over and just flick all over for snow and I'm going to let that snow spray over everything. And as I just add the finishing touches now to this painting, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. This is a really fun one to paint. I recommend and encourage you guys to give this one a try. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel for more art inspiration and techniques using acrylics. I'll see you next time really soon. Bye!